hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. All right. Oof. Certainly got cold. That is generally spirit's guidance, but there is some past energy here. All right. Past, past life. So, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an energy channel. That means that sometimes what you see here will not be traditional. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Roles can't be reversed. It could be the third party storyline as well. Uh, it may have been something that resonated for you um, three years ago. It may be something that resonates for you in three years, right? Time is fluid. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you so much. You guys are why I come back and do this. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. The link for the extended is down below. You can also find information um, at the uh, very first link you'll see down below to find out more about me, my services. Okay, that's uh, pretty much if I offer it, you can find it either through Amazon <laughs> or my partnerships where you'll see my little name at the top saying that I'm earning money or my website, BeLikeCreate.com, okay? So let's get going here. I, okay, I feel like you're at the very end of freeing yourself, Scorpio, but it's almost like you feel like you're, it's almost like a resistance, but you want this, right? You're like, I want this transformation. I wished for this transformation. Like I need to let go, but instead of, I'm getting this energy almost of that you are, this bull energy is like you're kind of judging yourself a little bit and judging where you're going in the future. And Spirit's like, no, just visualize today, okay? All you need to worry about is today. Because when you start moving out of that, you start moving back into the past, which actually um, really kind of constricts you and makes you pull inward, um, makes you wanna hang on to where you are at and you are changing. And this change could bring you a lot of sorrow or it could be that your change is bringing someone else sorrow and that's hard for you to watch and process, okay? So let's go ahead and see what is going on here, okay? What do we need to know here today? Spirit for Scorpio. Mm. Okay, rejoice in celebration because there's something coming together here on your behalf, okay? Um, material and spiritual prosperity coming out sideways, almost as if, again, like there's a yin and a yang here with this sorrow, okay? Where um, if you're getting something and somebody else isn't and you feel bad about that, um, again, in reverse, it would be 99, right? Which would be saying, yeah, this is the end of the road for that process, okay? Oof. Yeah, this has been a long time coming, waiting game. Possibly uh, two years, right? Um, possibly you've been focused in on this for the last two months. Suffering in silence, uh, waiting for this to get here. A lot of fog, a lot of confusion as you have moved towards this energy. Okay, there's your transformation. It is coming here in the future, this rebirth. And things that have been planted for you, it's kind of like I finally get my wings and then things start to grow. But you have to take this time. Again, another nine, 999. Nine, nine. You might be seeing a lot. And there's a six again. Okay, the yin and the yang. Six of cups. It's this energy of having patience for love of any kind to come back to you is really feeling like a struggle right now. 
Tell me about the suffering in silence. Thank you. Ace of water. Okay. You uh, spent the time working on yourself. And it was hard. And you had hope that you would eventually go through this transformation. Three of cups, the waiting game again, right? Like you've been waiting to get to this celebratory point. And um, it did take a long time to get there. And then they're also showing me my symbol for Fortnite, which is two weeks. So it could be that it took a long time to get there. And then the last two weeks had been like crazy mad rush uh, finally being able to let go of things. Okay, three of cups. There's the seven of earth. Okay, you were entangled in this energy that you had created with someone else. Okay, but it's this curiosity of what comes next. Hey, and being in judgment again that Right, you're healing, but I feel like there's somebody here that isn't quite, or that you're just upset about letting go of something here. Okay, 10 of cups. You probably were happy at one time with this, and now you're happier without it, right? And you wanna go find love again. You really do. Oh, what's hiding back here? Six of cups, again patience something could be coming back around oof that one flew and you got your wings transformation nine of fire in reverse so no longer having to fight no longer right like feeling like you've got to have your eye on the prize all the time but the hermit energy here is that i feel like you still feel like you're in this energy of moving towards the darkness, right? You really want to break free. You really want to be able to speak your mind. I don't know that you're going to be able to, at least not for a little while. And it could have to do with the Mercury retrograde, okay? Ace of water. Ten of air. Ending, recovery, and freedom. Yeah, you were completing a cycle. You were healing yourself. You were following your guides. Okay. Three of water. Night of fire. Somebody could have come again passionately running back to you. And just as you were closing everything off, Yeah, that was fast, the chariot, okay? <laughs> they don't wanna release you. And that could have happened, I mean, this is past energy there. So this could have happened again, the seven and the 13 is 20. So this could have happened like two years ago that this person came running back in, trying to show up to you when you had kind of already closed the books. Seven of earth to the eight of earth, right? You're disentangling yourself and you're working on yourself. You may be going back to school, uh, but you're definitely focused on your money and your plans and where do you wanna live and where do you wanna move and looking at real estate, I feel like, or jobs, okay? Judgment, yeah. I feel like this person is not moving on. Will of Fortune in reverse. Ten of Cups, the High Priestess. Definitely karmic energy here. Okay, and you're trying to be very patient with them. But you feel like you've been patient enough for like that last two years or, you know, last two months or whatever it has been for you. You feel like I've been really patient, right? But I'm ready to move forward. Nine of fire in reverse, okay, the ten of cups. You're ready for blessings. You're ready for love. You're ready to spend time. I feel like this is an energy of 
I'm ready to move into the next season and spend time with family and enjoy myself. But you feel like you can't here with the Hermit. Yeah, Ace of Air. You're like, how can I enjoy myself when Mr. Grumpy Pants here is just dragging this sadness forward with themselves? Okay. Not really communicating, not really adjusting to this. Six of Water. You're moving on anyway. Um, for some of you, that Six of Water is you're moving towards a second chance at love. Uh, you might have a child and you're taking that child with you. You're following your wish here, okay, in the middle. On the bottom, there's an Ace of Fire, okay? So you're taking control of your movement forward, which is really quite beautiful. What else here, Spirit? Yeah, there you are, okay? You're done, Scorpio. You're like... I am magnetically drawn towards the future. And that's where you're heading. Okay, Libra energy here. You're like fair is fair, okay? Um, it's balanced. You're ready for this harmony. But there's also, again, that sort of resistance. And I feel like that resistance is because you've just got a good heart and you just feel bad whether you're leaving a job or leaving a friendship or leaving like maybe you're moving away and you're moving out of your roommate's place, right? Like there's this sadness here because 60 degrees of separation here, right? It doesn't matter where you go. You're always somewhat connected to this energy. Okay. Leo here. Um, I think Spirit's saying, listen, this is just their drama, okay? They are not adjusting. They're being a little dramatic, right? Poor me. But they're going to get back on their feet, okay? Um, we literally have what they're showing me here as well is Libra, Sextile, Leo, right? The Empress and the Emperor, there doesn't have to be drama here, right? Like you're calling in your emperor or empress and this person, right, needs to move to their emperor or empress. <laughs> Venus in reverse, second house in reverse. But I feel like they are going to spend most of Taurus season just pouty in opposition of this okay this is not really what they want okay what else here for scorpio okay crocodile yeah they are watching your every move okay um but again you have healed this karmic energy and I just got kundalini chills, right? Even if you're afraid, you're like, I'm ready to move forward, okay? <clears throat> Let's close it off here with an oracle and then I'm going to head over and do the extended. The link is down below. Yeah, you're heading towards your soul purpose, north node right there, okay? Pluto, this is your self-revolution, this is your rebirth, and Sagittarius, which is also rebirth, right? We've got 9-9 nine, nine again. This is your expansion, this is your path forward. Um, I feel like you're, you're seeing a lot of synchronicities. There's a lot of twos here. You know that this is your path and you know that you are ready to complete things. A lot of tens as well. Um, <coughs> sorry, someone needed to hear that. Um, maybe the tenth was very important for you or will be important for you. Okay. But you've got to turn your sight. It's still looking backwards and you need to turn your sight forward. Okay, because that's where you're heading, all right? So I hope this helps you, and I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the week, all right? 
Much love. Don't forget to like, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.